Here's another historic page from the Illini Scrapbook. I'm Mike Pearson. Going into the 1989 NCAA basketball tournament, Coach Lou Henson's Flying Illini were ranked third in the nation and chosen as the Midwest region's number one seed. In first round action at Indianapolis, Illinois dispatched McNeese State 77-71, then defeated a tough ninth-seeded Ball State squad in round two, 72-60. That victory set up an extremely tough regional at the Metrodome in Minneapolis that included Louisville, Missouri, and Syracuse. In fact, the rosters of Illinois and the other three teams comprise 13 future first-round NBA draft picks. During pre-tournament practice, one of those burgeoning pros, Kenny Battle, bruised his knee when he slipped on a wet spot on the floor. That injury held his minutes down to just 15 against Louisville, but fortunately, Nick Anderson and Marcus Liberty picked up the slack in an 83-69 Illini victory. One unfortunate event during that win was an ankle injury suffered by Lowell Hamilton. So now trainer Rod Cardinal had to nurse both Hamilton and Battle back to health. Veteran Illini broadcaster Jim Turpin recalls Illinois' next game well, March 26, 1989, as a virtual flip of the coin. So now we go up against uh, Syracuse, and boy, this is, I don't remember the odds on the game, but there was a 50-50 game at best, because uh, they were good and so were we. Second seeded Syracuse's lineup starred Derek Coleman, Billy Owens, and Sherman Douglas, providing a monumental task for Henson's now physically ailing lineup. Syracuse was in control for most of the first half, leading Illinois by seven points at intermission, 46-39. But the Illini came flying out of the locker room with a vengeance in the second half, and nearly every player had a hand in the comeback. Steve Bardo directed the attack. Lowell Hamilton hit some key jumpers in the lane. Kendall Gill slashed to the basket, and Kenny Battle had a few of his patented dunks to pull Illinois into the lead. Following a pair of free throws by battle, in just more than 10 seconds left on the clock, Illinois led 89-86, forcing Syracuse into a desperate situation. The Orangemen's shot fell short, Larry Smith alertly tipped the rebound to Gill, and the final buzzer sounded victory for Illinois. Again, Jim Turpin. What I said was, uh, at the end of the game, Illinois wins, Illinois wins, Illinois wins four times. And I said final four, final four, final four, four times. And it just came out of nowhere. I had no idea. This wasn't one of those uh, rehearsed things where you said, well, if we win, I'm going to say this. It just kind of popped out. And I remember our uh, post-game show, we just kept grabbing guys. Uh, Wayne Duke was on. We had other people on. And... Uh, we went into the, uh, finally went into the locker room and it was just filled with uh, press people. Uh, I could see uh, Kendall Gill had uh, blood running down his, uh, they had to do something to his lip, and it was uh, quite a sight. Yet in the glory of the team's finest hour, Turpin remembers Lou Henson having his priorities in order. And I remember all of a sudden Lou Henson saying, okay, we gotta go we got to get back to Champaign in time to see Murder, She Wrote. The Illini had earned their first trip to the Final Four in more than 30 years, extending its fairy tale season with a battle in Seattle. Though the results ultimately didn't turn out as Illinois would have liked, one thing's for sure. No one will ever forget the season Illinois basketball took flight. This has been another historic page from the Illini Scrapbook. I'm Mike Pearson.